Hello, I'm Diana and Red's my name and today I wanted to talk about the Red Queen's race or the Red Queen's effect. The Red Queen's race is a hypothesis in evolutionary biology. It proposes that species must constantly adapt, evolve and proliferate in order to survive while competing with other species. The name of the Red Queen hypothesis derives from the famous Lewis Carroll's book Through the Looking Glass. Alice looked around her in great surprise. Why? I do believe we've been under the street the whole time. Everything's just as it was. Of course it is, said the Queen. Why would you have it? Well, in our country, said Alice, still painting a little, you generally get to somewhere else if you run very fast for as long as we've been doing. A slow sort of country, said the Queen. Now here, you see, it takes all the running you can do to keep in the same place. If you want to get somewhere else, you must run at least twice fast as that. And this metaphor, it takes all the running you can do to keep in the same place, it symbolizes an arms race between different species. For example, if natural selection favors faster predators, it also favors faster prey, which will result in steady state. But if the evolution of prey will become faster because of the genetic reasons, then the population of predators might disappear. And this process is sort of like antagonistic coevolution, because species must continually evolve to survive in the face of their evolving enemies, yet on average the fitness remains unchanged. And fitness describes the capacity of an individual with a certain genotype to survive and to reproduce. We can calculate fitness by calculating selective or adaptive value if we multiply the survival rate and the fecundity. According to the Red Queen hypothesis, each adaptation by species is matched by co-interacting adaptation in another interacting species such that perpetual evolutionary change is required for existence. And despite this continued evolution, average relative fitness remains constant. Evolution is a zero-sum game here. And this back and forth co-evolution between uh, different species is a constant change with smaller adaptations accumulating over long periods of time. And this permanent evolution is necessary to maintain uh, the aptitude of the species against other species with whom they co-evolve. The Red Queen hypothesis was proposed in uh, 1973 by Leik van Balen. Uh, it derives from this quote. The probability of extinction of the group of species is constant through the geological time. So it intended to explain that the constant probability of extinction of the species is uh, caused by coevolution between competing species and it also showed the positive correlation between speciation and extinction rates in most clades. Uh, but it has also been suggested that the Red Queen hypothesis explains the advantage of sexual reproduction at the level of the individual because sexual reproduction confers species variability and a greater or faster generational response to selection by making offspring genetically unique. Thus, if we look at the relationships between hosts and parasites, we can see that hosts may select for sexual reproduction in order to reduce the risk of the infection. However, from the point of view of the parasite, a host is an almost permanent environment to which it just needs to adapt. And generally, parasites can adapt to hosts much faster than hosts can adapt to parasites. Because uh, parasites or microorganisms are much smaller, they also reproduce much faster. During just one life of the host, a uh, population of parasites may have many generations. And knowing the fact that uh, population of parasites permanently evolves, we can assume that hosts need to evolve as much. Because genotype, which was well adapted to parasites one day, the other day wouldn't be necessary optimal to resist against parasites of the next generation. Sadly or not, none of the hosts can never actually reach the hypothetic state where they can eliminate all of the parasites, because they would always win this evolutionary race. And the best host can do is to resist in the most effective way. As uh, Charles Darwin said, it is not the strongest species that survives, nor the most intelligent, but the most responsive to change. So keep evolving and thank you for watching.